Dan King. Welcome to my first YouTube video. I run a very small fabrication business out of my garage in Las Vegas called Man Candy Creations. Some of the stuff I'm most well known for, I guess I'm not very well known at all. Some of my projects that are more well known are Project D350, it's a 1986 Dodge Ram 50 that I've widened, put a V8 in. Uh, I also created the homicide door. I've had people tell me that they've followed my truck project since they were kids, which is an awesome thing to hear. I had no idea. In 2012, D350 was destroyed on the side of the road. It was four o'clock in the morning and it was like BANG! My wife was like, oh my god, babe, what was that? And I was like, huh? What? My focus on these videos will mainly be the reconstruction, as well as some smaller projects. Hopefully you'll follow along, subscribe, maybe you'll learn something. So my D350 frame is just a bare frame now. I intend to clean it all up, rebuild just about everything, make it pretty, new front suspension, probably keep the rear suspension for the most part. Regardless, I need to move it around the garage. It's a very small space. I have my wife's mini truck that we have to park in here. So the idea is to buy two cheap engine stands that I will cut up, modify, and turn into my frame rotisserie. The goal is to get this very heavy frame in a state where it's very easy to work on, easy to manipulate, easy to move around, easy to store, and not spend a lot of money. Let's get started. So my plan, simplified, is two cheap engine stands from Harbor Freight. I'm going to cut this upright off because it's got this angle in the back. I want this to be straight up and down because this pivot point needs to continue straight on through the frame to the other engine stand. So I'm going to cut this off, I'm going to straighten this up so it's 90 degrees. Also, I want to turn everything around. Because this back piece, which is mainly going to be the finished piece, is flush. So anything hanging down will be free. The last part of the plan is to cut off these wheels. The front has casters on it. So I can move it however I want. I'm going to put those casters on the rear, put these wheels on the front, and then this piece will be strictly to keep everything upright while I set everything up. I'm likely just going to weld the frame to the plate. Let's make some sparks. So this top piece already appears to be at a 90 degree angle. Basically, I'm just going to cut off the bottom and straighten it up. Cut that off, clean this up, weld it back on.
number in the rear is quite a bit higher than this, so I'm probably going to be welding at the top somewhere. So this is about just over 11 inches in the front. And the top of the one in the rear needs to be centered and about 11 inches on the top. I've already found the center of my frame. I already cleaned and marked the center of this. I just know that I need this to be at 11 inches off the ground. Check it out from here. It looks all right. Yeah. Let's lift it up onto the cherry picker and see how we did. cut out of that trying to get it down to 15 minutes honestly I tried to get it down to 10 but that just didn't work there's a comment section way down at the bottom let me know what you thought of this video is there enough information uh, not enough information too short too long unfortunately I can't do both short and all the information there was three hours of video cut out of that but yeah thanks for watching Subscribe. There's a lot of stuff coming up. Things are going to get a lot better. The audio is going to get a lot better. Uh, I learned a lot in the editing process. Uh, so things are going to things are going to pick up. Thanks again. Bye.